welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And this time it's Aston Villa nil, Manchester United three. Guys, another three points. Yes, another three points. Another win. Another record-breaking fashion win. Four games won in a row. First time it's done in the Premier League. Another another W, three points. Closing the gap against Chelsea and Leicester. Just one point behind Leicester, guys. What a win. What a fantastic... Oh, well, not fantastic, but what a good performance we had today. Wonderful goal. Brilliant goal by Mason Greenwood. Brilliant goal by Paul Pogba. And, of course, a penalty by Bruno. Well, guys, the first 20 minutes... Oh, it wasn't the best. We did not start towards our best. But soon as we got a look, little lucky break by a penalty that was awarded from Bruno Fernandes. Like, which I gotta say, guys, although some of you, the well, the ups, the ups, the ups will say it was not a penalty. Bruno Fernandes was fishing for it. But why is the defender's leg sticking there? Who asks you to be on the floor? Who asked you to be on the floor? If he was on the floor, Bruno would have not find himself dangling all over your feet and fall on the floor and say, hey, ref, look, look at me. I just fell. Penny? Mm-hmm. Ref, ref saw it as a penalty. Um, although I thought that it wasn't a penalty. But yes, I'll take it any day. Yes, Bruno Fernandes made it straight 1-0. Calm penalty. And then we move it on straight to Mason Gunn, man, Greenwood over 2 0. <laughs> this guy is such a talent. Wonderful strike. Man, blasting strike. Whew, by, by Mason Greenwood. Took Pepe Reina out the scenes. Aston Villa from there just looked like pff, hopeless. It was 2 0 by half time. And then another. Assist by our guy, the magnificent Bruno Fernandez, straight outside the box, finding Pogba. Pogba slots it in to score his first goal of the season. But well, another well, another goal for Bruno Fernandez, another assist, wonderfully capped to perform the performance. And then we just won a game three 0 We was cruising, we was cruising, staying in third gear. Aston Villa. Looks like they're going to be relegated soon. Bye-bye, Aston Villa. Oh, Jack Grealish today was absolutely horrendous. He looked like he was ready to pack his bag and come over to Manchester United. You know, like that. He, he, didn't, he didn't come here to make an addition. He did not want to make an audition. He wanted to impress his, his own support, his ops, which is us, who we're going to buy and become the come of four of us. Yes. He put his foot himself. Let me play shit so, you know, it doesn't affect my transfer. You know what I mean? The match ended 3 0. And we go straight into the man of the match, guys. Man of the match today. Although you could have easily said Bruno Fernandes with his assist and goals, Mason Greenwood with his wonderful strike. Today, I thought there was a player that truly deserves man of the match who was pulling the strings from deep line. Playing as a deep line playmaker today. And this guy is Paul Pogba, who scored his first goal today. I just thought he was just instrumental today and just. Everywhere on the pitch, getting involved and um, spraying some wonderful balls to Marcus Rashford, to Luke Shaw, which I thought both of them could have done better and done well. But then, by the end of the day, it was just like that. Paul Popper deserved the man of the match. And then today, although we won 3 0, don't give the match today the most least effective today. And who a player today, I just thought he wasn't at his best, was Aaron Wan Bissaka. Aaron. Today, you wasn't at your best. We saw things with Aaron Wigan Bissaka just making a slight tackle and making a mistake and an error from that and tackling one of their players. was quite unusual from Aaron Wigan Bissaka. But today, he is my donkey of the match. And we go straight into the player rating, guys. In goal, we had David De Gea. Straight seven today. Did nothing wrong today. In right back which was my donkey in the match, which I thought was the most least effective player today. I'm going to have to give him a six. going to have to give him a six. Sorry, Ann. Sorry, Aaron. In in defence, Lindelof was very good. 
very very good today solid didn't make any mistake they didn't get moved to today you know most of the times Lindelof if he plays against someone that's quite strong he will get moved to get tossed get put on the floor and get swept move fam get out of my way that's the thing about Lindelof but today he played well today I'll give him a seven Harry Maguire was solid he was strong clearing up all the all the all the all the all the chances that was coming towards us with his head, last ditch tackles. I have to give him a seven as well. Luke Shaw has been doing really well in the last two to three games. He always been getting involved because you know, like I said before, I always thought to myself, Luke Shaw is a half-hearted player. You know, it's a player that you do not want to take on a ride out if you have to ride out in your ops. Do you not want to put? take Luke Shaw with you because in the day when everyone's trying to get hyped, everyone's smoking a spliff, passing it around, and then it's time to pass to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw says, nah, I'm cool. You're like, what do you mean, nah, you're cool? We're trying to get turned. Nah, a suspect. Suspect. The guy that don't want to smoke a spliff, he's going there with a conscious. He doesn't want to get unconscious like these, like us. We're back to right now. So with Luke Shaw today, I was very impressed with him today. So I'm gonna have to give him a seven today. Paul Pogba today, man of my man of the match. I'm gonna have to give him a nine. And the man of Matic done well today. Get the number seven. Uh on the right wing, Mason Gunman Greenwood today. He played well. I have to give him an eight. That goal was superb. With Bruno Fernandes, although he got a goal and assist, I didn't think he was at his best today. So I'm going to have to give him a 7. And with Mark Rashford at 7, he had two opportunities. Same as Martial, which I have to give him a 7 today. And our manager today, the football's improving. It's getting better. It's getting better, guys. And we, we can enjoy this. We can. So, manager today, Oli, you deserve a seven. You deserve a seven today. You know, right now, I'm kind of buying into it. I'm buying into everything now, guys. Guys, guys, it's been wonderful. It's, it's late. Remember to subscribe to this channel as well and smash the like button. Remember to follow the socials as well with an official Red United TV Instagram account, which is Red United TV one, guys. And remember to just look at the socials for the description. Look at the link description to get the socials. Remember, guys, it's been wonderful. Another three points. You'll see me. The catch up. The catch up is soon coming, so check out for that soon, guys. Peace out.